hey guys, it's day nine, bust the rhyme and everything will be fine. We're, we're doing backbends today, so get ready and I'll see you on the mats. All right, so let's begin standing at the top of our mat and we're doing backbends today or focusing on backbends. And despite what the name suggests, backbends are more like front opening, back strengthening postures. They can bring out a lot of energy and feelings of invigoration as well. But on the flip side, they can bring out uh, feelings of fear and vulnerability. If you think about it, we're opening out all of our front side and exposing all these vital organs in nature and in terms of survivability is a no-no. So your brain will do a very good job in trying to protect you to say, no, like this is not okay, you need to back out. But we know we're safe on the yoga mat and we use the breath to calm the mind. And with practice, the back bends can help improve the strength of the spine and improve your posture and also create lots of space for your chest or area. So it took me a long time to get comfortable with back bends and also a long time to develop some confidence in my back bends too. So these things take time, so be patient and just give it a good try and see how you feel. And allow these sensations to just be experienced um, and just don't ignore those sensations. Um, without further ado, let's begin at the top of the mat and we'll start warming up the spine with some half sun salutations. So feet hips distance apart, completing your exhale here. As you inhale, let's sweep the arms round and up, palms facing each other. As you exhale, bending at the knees, hinging from the hips, forward folding. So bend your knees as generously as you need to. On your next inhale, let's bring the hands onto the tops of the thighs. So lengthening the spine forward, straightening the legs, pulling the shoulders back, elbows in. Exhale, bending at the knees, coming down relaxing the face. Inhale, let's roll up to our mountain, to Dasana, and then sweeping the arms round as we complete our inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Gonna cue the ujjayi breath now. So that's the gentle constriction in the back of the throat. An oceanic sounding breath. Inhale, sweep the arms round and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, bring our hands onto the tops of our shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax the face as you soften down. Inhale, rolling up, sweeping the arms up, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale, coming down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on ground or tops of the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, deep breath in, reach the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time, inhale, pressing into the feet, reaching the arms up. Exhale, bending at the knees, coming down, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, this time fingertips on ground, shins or thighs, dealer's choice. Exhale, forward fold. Planting the hands, pressing the hands into the ground, and we'll start to send the right leg back, lowering the knee down, followed by the left. Meeting in our tabletop. So if you remember the tabletop uh, position alignment is that the shoulders are over the wrists and the hips are over the knees. Have a peek back to make sure your shins are parallel with each other and you can release the curl of the toes and bring the tops of the feet onto the ground. From here, coming into three cat cows, completing your exhale. As you inhale, 
Let's lift the tailbone, drop the belly, bring the chest through the arms, pressing into the hands. As you exhale, chin towards chest, doming the spine, belly button in. Inhale, dropping the belly, chest through, lifting the chin. Exhale, chin towards chest, belly in, arching the spine. One more round according to your own breath. Let's meet in a neutral table. So neither cat nor cow. And we'll begin to lower our right elbow to where the right hand was, and then the left elbow where the left hand was. And then start to walk your shins back until you can start lowering your hips down to the ground. So in this position, start to shuffle your hips side to side making sure your pubic bone is even on the ground. So we tend to dump a bit of weight into our low back and there's a natural curve in our low back. So it makes it quite a vulnerable area, especially when we're doing back bends. So we want to be sending awareness to our low back. And if you feel nothing because you're dead inside, then you and me both. <laughs> no, um, as we are beginning to bring awareness or develop awareness, we it's quite hard to without any kind of feedback um, without the sensations of pain. So a powerful tool that we can use is our very own hands. So to just maybe use your one hand to support your this pose as you bring one hand back and just touch on the low spine to give yourself feedback and say, oh yes, this is my low back. This is how it feels. This is where I'm feeling some sensation. Okay, so you can do that with both hands. And then come back to this position. So if you've ever wondered what it's like to be a sphinx, uh, today's your lucky day. So this is sphinx pose pressing the tops of the feet into the ground. And as we've shuffled our hips around, make sure your pubic bone feels even. Our shoulders are over our elbows, so you might need to adjust your stance. And pressing the hands into the ground, pressing the forearms in, drawing the shoulders back and pulling the chest through. So it's a similar sensation to the cow pose. We're pulling the chest through the arms, Lifting the chin can be quite a nice relaxing pose. We're not collapsing in the Sphinx. Let's lower our chest down and let's bring our hands underneath our shoulders. So elbows in, pressing into the tops of the feet. On your next inhale, let's press into the hands gently, lifting the upper back and chin gazing forwards, elbows in, coming into a low lift cobra. Exhale, lower down, maybe the forehead comes down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting up. Pressing into the tops of the feet, pubic bone into the ground. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, lifting up, elbows in, and then lift the hands off the ground. So see how far your back can support you, and maybe you've loaded a little bit down. Shoulders away from ears, relaxing the face and the jaw, pressing the tops of the feet and pubic bone into the ground. Steady breaths. The back is doing a really good job in supporting you. And then as you exhale, let's lower ourselves down and bring the hands underneath the shoulders again. Press yourself up and bring your legs together, feet together, sitting your hips onto your heels, coming into our first child's pose. So lower your chest down onto your thighs, 
hands in front of you, forehead down. If this is uncomfortable, you might want to curl your toes under and bring your hips back towards your heels. Or if that, that's even more uncomfortable, then you can try sit up into a heroes. So child's pose is quite a restorative pose, but if you've got tight hips, then that quite can not be, that might not be available for you. Okay. From here, we're going to maneuver our way in onto our backs. So coming forwards, crossing at the shins, bringing our feet out in front of us and onto our backs. So you come onto our backs, bring the arms alongside the body, palms facing down, bring your heels close so that you can graze the back of your heels with your middle finger. And we're going to be lifting up to some bridges and you want to feel as if your inner thighs are, there's magnets between your inner thighs and they're squeezing towards each other. But we don't want that feeling, but we don't want our legs to actually be caving in, okay? So knees are hips distance apart, but squeezing towards each other. So on your next inhale, let's press into the heels, press into the hands, start to lift the hips and maybe the low back and mid back. Let's pause there for now and squeeze the thighs towards each other. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let's lower the low back and hips down. Slowly increasing our range of movement or range of motion. Inhale, let's press into the feet, lifting the hips, maybe low back, mid back, maybe coming up to the upper back. Slow breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly release each vertebra at a time back down. Inhale, pressing into the feet, pressing into the hands, lifting the hips, squeezing the thighs towards each other, lifting the low back, mid back, and maybe upper back, broaden the collarbones, pressing the shoulders into the ground. And then as you exhale, let's lower back down. Very nice. So to neutralize some back bends are twists. So bring your arms out to a cactus position or a capital T and bring your feet out to the edges of the mat and just sway your knees side to side, coming into some gentle reclined twists. Very nice. Let's even it out on both sides. So coming over to the left, if you started on the right and bring the knees back through center, hug your knees into towards your chest, giving yourself a squeeze and then roll off onto your right side. Use your left hand to press yourself up and we'll come into a seat. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that if you have a spare few minutes to just sit and observe the sensations that you're experiencing. So again, like I said earlier, don't ignore the sensations, just observe and try not to label anything. We're just watching the sensations come and go. Otherwise, if you need to move on, then I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow for some hips and yeah, some hips. <laughs> so namaste, have a good day.